Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. In the past I've done uh, some weekly rotation videos showing the, the pens I've had uh, inked in a particular week. But I thought I'd do something a little bit different today. I thought, why not just show uh, what is my sort of basic sort of stationary everyday carry. So what I've done is I've taken uh, out of my work bag my items that I use on a day-to-day -day basis and I thought I'd just sort of talk you through uh, them and we can uh, just sort of get an idea as to what I carry. So we'll start with uh, notebooks and the first one is the Memo, Memo uh, small A6 pocket notebook. Uh, this has got sort of brown lined pages and I wasn't finding a use for this in sort of my everyday uh, sort of uh, carry. So what I have been using it for is, as some of you might know, I'm an opera singer by day. Uh, so I've been using this to sort of, well, sort of cheat sheets for whatever sort of role uh, I'm working on to help me memorize uh, the lines of what I'm doing. I was writing in this with uh, Mont Blanc Toffee Brown uh, in a Lamy uh, Broad nib, and I think it actually looks so great on this paper. Uh, really cool combination of uh, ink and paper colour. Gives a really nice sort of uh, antique -y feel, and with the little stuck on uh, label on the front and everything, it's got. I think this book is called The Libretto from memory. Uh, I think it's a really lovely little sort of. Uh, book for this, for this purpose and something I'm going to keep using uh, until I work through it. The next book is another A6. It is the Leuchtturm 1917 hardcover A6, uh, obviously in red. And I use this one for uh, notes from directors and conductors of the shows that I'm doing when we get our sort of note sessions at the end of rehearsals. And as you can see, it also makes for a nice, a nice little sort of... Um, scrapbook, if you will, of of some of the uh, the inks and pens that I've been using over the last few months. The next book uh, is an Australian brand. It's uh, Greenwood Classics, uh, and it's their A5 um, soft cover, cover uh, notebook. This I use for um, meetings and that sort of thing. It's got a nice sort of, like the Leuchtturms has a nice ribbon and an elastic strap on the front. Um, I modded it with a, a pen loop, uh, which I put a Pilot Metropolitan bronze in, uh, and I have it in, as you can see, I have it in the uh, the grid format. They're yet to do a, a dot grid, uh, so for me this is the next best option. It's a little finer, it gives me a bit of freedom, uh, it doesn't sort of get, keep me sort of contained to lines. The last book in my everyday carry uh, is a Leuchtturm 1917 A5 hardcover, here with the, the lime green or apple green sort of colour. Um, these are really nice notebooks. Now for me, this is my bullet journal. Um, I um, what do they call it, type A or type 1 or something uh, in terms of organisation. I am a little bit pedantic about lists and things like that. So the bullet journal system is just absolutely ideal. Um, I'll try and avoid pages I've written on. So I have it in the, the dot uh, grid, which I really like. Um, I love this book because the pages are numbered and it's got an index in the front, two ribbons. Um, the only thing I don't like about these books is how uh, thin uh, the paper is. I'll just, like, I have a test page here in the back where I test uh, some inks and things uh, before I use them in the book. And a lot, there's so much ghosting uh, on this paper. Before this, I was using the Rodia Webby for um, bullet journaling and... I think next time I'm going to go back to a Webby, just for that sort of slightly thicker uh, paper. Although I do love uh, the particular dot grid of these, and as I said, the numbered pages and index make it such a, a nice uh, book uh, to use for bullet journaling and so easy, hence why it's probably so popular for that. But yeah, this is my 
bullet journal um, and part of my sort of everyday carry if you will. I don't like to carry my computer around I prefer to do things on paper where I can uh, and once again that's why the bullet journal system is so good for me I can take notes keep a track of where everything is um, it's great for list making and project managing and things like that so if you don't if you're not familiar with the bullet journal uh, system I, I'll link to a video from the creator of the bullet journal system uh, below and check it out because it's really an interesting uh, way of keeping track of things so now from here we move to my pencil case now I carry a satchel bag with um, you know music scores and an iPad for extra music scores and things like that and I've had so many different pencil cases to try and find the right one for me uh, and this I think ticks just about as many boxes as any pencil case I've ever used it's a really compact size uh, but with plenty of sort of storage capacity for the things that I need. This is a um, a SmartFit um, brand or a Lehit Lab, I don't know how to say it, brand pencil case. Um, I bought this on eBay from Japan. It was really reasonably priced, like under 20 bucks. Uh, and I'm just going to sort of walk you through that. Um, so we'll start with the pen um, compartment and as you can see there's two sort of different compartments for well I use them for, for pens and things um, and we'll start over here with the, the fountain pens so I have a Pilot Metropolitan um, black with a medium nib and this is filled with a uh, Pilot Miki black cartridge it's the only pen I use with cartridges uh, and it, just for convenience because this is probably my most common carry uh, pen with black ink at the moment so it's nice to have that in the uh, yeah in the cartridges which are easier to swap out when or if you run out of ink on the run next I have a Twisby Diamond 580 once again another medium nib it is my sort of everyday standard nib of choice uh, although the, the difference between the Pilot medium and the Twisby medium is reasonably considerable really. This is filled with Monteverde uh, Canyon Rust, it's one of my favourite inks at the moment. It's a really nicely lubricated ink, it's got a great colour and uh, it dries pretty quickly. So that's uh, a win-win on most fronts. Next we have the Diplomat uh, Aero. Now I don't normally carry this pen around with me, um, but at the moment I'm using it a lot as I'm preparing to do a little review of the pen. It's currently filled with Diamine Pumpkin. Uh, before that it was Ancient Copper or Robert Oster Orange. Uh, at the moment Pumpkin's in there. It's a really nice sort of contrasty orange to the orange of the pen. And it's a it's a really nice uh, pen. So there'll be a review of that coming out in the next couple of days as well. And the last fountain pen I have in the case is the uh, Lamy Safari Petrol. Now this is only a few of the pens I have inked. Um, I also have a few other metro uh, Metropolitans and a Faber-Castell Loom and things like that, but these are the ones I carry. Um, and this one for, this I have a 1.1mm uh, nib on it, so it gives a nice little bit of shape. It's also an interesting ink, uh, the Lamy Petrol ink, so I, I do like to sort of um, have that on hand for you know, when I'm actually doing my like notes for directors in the little book, things like that, you know, it's nice to sort of play around with a bit of a a pen because in between notes you do a little bit of doodling here and there things like that so it's a nice pen uh, for that one little thing about this case is the elastic strap here has already like I've had this for a few weeks and it's already sort of lost its its um, ping and it started to fray because of the pen clips so I have stopped putting the pens uh, over the elastic and now just hold them in there with it on the other side are my non-fountain pen writing instruments that I sort of use. Now, I always like to have a ballpoint pen on hand because there's lots of things like envelopes and things like that that it's a little bit more tricky unless you use a, um, a permanent black ink. Uh, so, or sometimes you have to write on dodgy paper or someone wants to borrow a pen or whatever. So this is the Lamy, I think it's the logo, ballpoint pen um, with the black refill. Um, it's a nice enough pen, it's sort of sturdy, it's, 
but it's also from a brand that I like. I do like Lamy pens um, a lot, so that's, that lives in there. Next I have um, something a little different, which is the, the Click um, Pilot uh, Friction Pen. Now, the Friction Pens, for those who, of you who aren't uh, familiar, are a pen uh, that is erasable. Now, it's not erasable by uh, removing it like a, a pencil. It actually removes by heat uh, or friction, as it says on the, on the label there. Um, I'll actually do a quick little example of it for you just so you can see because it's actually sort of cool and it does come in a good range of colours and all of that so Pilot Friction Red so as you can see I've written written it there and then on the end you get this little what looks like an eraser and um, basically by friction more or less it erases uh, the ink which the reason I have this pen in my uh, case is I write uh, I ca the music scores that I carry around. I don't like to write on them in pen, uh, so I, I do most of my markings in pencil. But things like uh, translations of German text or um, particular markings that need to stand out, I use this pen uh, for that. It's it's fine. It dries quickly. All that sort of stuff. Uh, but because it's erasable, if I make a mistake, I don't have the guilt of having written in a, you know, sometimes over a hundred dollar score uh, with a, a ballpoint ballpoint pen or something, and then it's there forever. So this is a really nice uh, option for that. Now pencils. As a musician, of course, pencils are something that you burn through. So what I tend to do is I carry one mechanical and one sort of woodcase pencil with me uh, all the time. So the mechanical pencil I'm using at the moment is the Rotaring 500, uh, 0.7, which I've got filled with 2B. Even though it says B there, there we go, 2B. Um, this is a really cool pencil. Uh, I, would, I would have loved for the, the point to be retractable, but you can get that on the higher uh, models in the range. Uh, but it's really reliable. The, you know, the, the clicking of the lead is smooth and, yeah, it's just a really nice pencil and I loved the, the gnarled steel uh, of the grip. It makes a really nice uh, grip on the on the pencil so that stays in there. And of course the Palomino Blackwing 602, uh, this one's seen some love obviously, um, and it's just one of the greatest pencils. Anyone who's used them knows they're really fabulous pencils, half the pressure, twice the speed. Uh, and that makes complete sense, it's a nice smooth lead, it's soft, it raises easily, it ticks all the boxes, and in fact the, the next model that will take its place in this will be the Palomino Blackwing Volume 73, uh, which is the Lake Tahoe version, and it's got this sort of nice, sort of uh, textured, textured um, you know, finish to represent geographical lines and things like that. So that'll be in there afterwards, but at the moment I'm using the, the original 602. So that's the pen compartment. On the other side we have a compartment for all the other sort of bits. First thing of course, a good uh, highlighter, the Stabilo uh, Luminator XT. Really great highlighter. I love that you can see the ink level. Um, it's super reliable. It's got a nice big uh, point, but also a nice sort of um, fine point if you want to be using it on that side. Super reliable. They they aren't the cheapest highlighters around, but they are, in my opinion, um, the best uh, of these sort of disposable highlighters. Now, other things I carry in here are, you know, a USB drive, super important, um, a pencil sharpener, an eraser, uh, the Faber Castell Dust Free uh, Black. I find to be a really probably. Uh, it's a nice soft eraser, so it takes things up very easily, and it's really good on smooth paper, uh, and it doesn't leave sort of too much uh, residue behind. I also carry uh, Pilot Namiki cartridges for the Pilot Metropolitan. As I said, if you run out, it's so easy just to put a cartridge in uh, without having to worry about filling up. I used to carry around a sample vial of, of ink. Here's Lamy Black from when I was using uh, that is my sort of go-to black. Uh, 
and I never had to use it because I'm always pretty sort of careful about how much ink is in the pen, but I, you know, I found it to be nice to have it there, but this is so much easier just to have sort of some cartridges on hand. And the last thing I carry in this pencil case is a Clairefontaine uh, little spiral bound uh, notepad. Uh, what I love about this is that it's got perforated pages, so the pages are easy to remove without tearing. Um, and it's got a, a really it's good quality paper, it's fountain pen friendly. It's the typical Clairefontaine uh, paper lined, great for you know shopping lists or getting someone's phone number or you know any of those sorts of things. And it's always handy to have it sort of in my pencil case on the go. Well, that's uh, that's it for my sort of everyday carry uh, of books and pens and such like that. I don't think I mentioned, but the bronze Pilot Metropolitan attached to the Greenwood at the moment is also filled with uh, the Canyon Rust, same as the the Twisby. It's just a, a really lovely ink, and as I said, I'm having a bit of a, a bit of a love affair with it just at the moment. So that's my everyday carry. Everyone's you know, carry will be different and mine changes sort of week to week depending on what pens I've got inked and what work I'm doing and all those sorts of things. But this gives you an overview of what uh, I do and I hope you enjoyed it. If you found this video useful, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit the notifications button so that uh, you can keep up to date with uh, the videos that I produce. Please feel free to drop me a message with any information or uh, questions you have. I'd love to know what you carry, or if there's anything um, you know unique or interesting that, that you have on, on your person uh, for work uh, or, or play or whatever. Uh, uh, so yeah, feel free to drop me a message either here or at my blog, uh, which is linked below. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and notebooks and all assorted other assorted products. Enjoy writing and I'll talk to you later.